Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I look what I've got. I've got the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding and this is what the book box looks like from the outside and I've seen people use it and it fascinated me. This is the um, second edition and I think there's already a third edition out. So the transparent tarot and that's like you can put it in the bookcase like a book and that's what I find really great about these new boxes. Explore the transparency of your life in this second edition of Transparent Tarot, the celebrated and award-winning tarot definition system, a must-have for both readers and collectors. This highly innovative deck consists of simple yet striking images displayed on clear plastic which are designed to be read in layers with a new chapter detailing how to use this deck in combination with other decks Tarot or Oracle Enhance your interpretations to unlock intuition and have and help discover hidden depth depths uh, as you read. The book offers new keywords and charts which quickly definitions to assist with reading right out of the box as well as in-depth meaning for clearer associations. Find original spreads and suggestions for methods that have never before been possible. This deck offers a fun original and insightful tool for definition, meditation, brainstorming, magic and more for beginners and advanced readers. And it costs $59.99 as it says on the deck. This deck is a loving, helpful friend. It feels alive and reactive in a way no other deck has seemed to me and the sheer brilliance of layering the meanings provides an accuracy, depth of insight and clarity I would not have believed. Perry Lyons Celebrity Psychic. Okay, and there's more on top. The transparent deck is a fascinating exploration of the way the cards can blend together consistently creating new meaning. Every combination proceeds fresh images and new mysteries. Rachel Pollock, author of 78 Degrees of Wisdom. Okay, so let's open the deck. Right, I've got my little scissors and I've opened it up, but I didn't open it up all together because I want to do that in front of you quite heavy. I wonder how it's usually it's heavier than the uh, usual decks that I have. Uh, it's magnetized and it's a cutout and this is what is in front of it and let's have a look what's written on it. There's a message on here. In the pages and secret book are the key to your inner look. This might or this insight is a is truer gaze the wisest light to guide your days. Okay. That's the moon. So let's have a look what's in the deck, in the box. Uh, it's plastic, it's quite sturdy. Wow, this book is really thick. And those are the cards. Now, and we've got a cloth. That's the inside of the box. It's very, very sturdy, the box. It's got a white cloth. Just put that aside, put that aside. And it, I think that's a good idea to have a cloth. 
you can use your own cloth. I'm, I'm going to just lift up my camera so that it won't ride away. Oh, it's got a mark on it, never mind. Right. This is the book, it's quite extensive. I don't. It's colourful. It's made by Red Feather Shiver. Published by Red Feather Mind, Body and Spirit. An imprint of Shiver's publi uh, Publishing Limited. And it's got the email on it, the website, the fax and phone number. I will leave that number below so you can always see on their website in the catalogues what decks there are. Then we've got acknowledgement forward and then we have the preface to the second edition. I know that the second edition um, is different than the first ed edition because now they're made in colors. The introduction. Welcome to your guide to the transparent tarot. This is written not as a definite book of instructions nor as a set of outlines within which you must work but as a foundation for you to launch into your own exploration of the tarot. As such, before you begin this book, being th this book in earnest, begin this book in earnest, I will strongly suggest one thing, put it down. <laughs> I love it. I don't think I will be able to put this book down. Now, pick up the cards and look through them. Play with them, whatever you feel whatever you feel drawn to um, do except possibly spread them too wide over a pattern carpet since you probably lose a few that way they provide a wide reading cloth background sorry I skipped this they are transparent after all using a bright white background or the provided white reading cloth, spread out the cards and try forming a few pictures without referring to the book. Start forming your own impression of the cards. Their feeling and meaning, perhaps you could try using them to form an image that you feel reflects your current position or personality or situation. Or just create images that you think are pretty whatever you decide to do the important thing is that you build up your own relationship with the cards uh, early on before you read my own theories and ideas about what they mean and how you could use them you may wish to keep the cards handy as you read through the book so you can see the full color detail of images. Something I will repeat and emphasize in this book is that this deck of cards is not uh, sorry, is now yours. It is your tool and so it is for you, not I, to decide how it will be used and what various things may or may not mean. The transparent tarot is a tool for unlocking your intuition and as such anything I have to say, as its designer, it's simply based on my personal research and understanding of the cards. It is not meant to dictate anything to you. In fact, you may find your own complete unrelated meanings for the images on the cards. And that is great. The information in this book is simply there to support you in your quest for your own understanding. Provide you with some fresh angles you might not have thought of before and I hope give you a confidence and inspiration necessary to find profound benefit from the cards and then we've got the contents what is tarot the evolution of tarot what makes the transparent tarot special Care, uh, caring for your cards okay and then goes into the list Court cards, the minor arcana, three, that's chapter three, how to use the cards, definition, 
other uses of the cards. What is tarot? Um, the evolution of tarot. What makes transparent tarot? Caring for your cards. When you're not using your cards, it's best to keep them stored flat, wrapped in their cloth. You may also wish to keep them in an appropriate tarot box or bag. If you wish to use a cloth other than the reading cloth provided with the deck, then silk is often favoured, not only for its softness but also for its qualities as a natural psychic insulator. Many people choose to use certain crystals with their decks to empower and protect them. You may simply choose to keep them in the box they came in, which is fine. The important thing is not to leave them lying around when you're not using them, since they may get lost, damaged or acquired by sticky fingers. The nature of these cards mean that you will need a plain white surface to read them on, and whilst paper or plastic will do. It would be a good idea to use the white cloth for readings. Those who use the cards a lot may even wish to invest in a light box. They are available from some arts and crafts stores and will really illuminate your cards. This might be particularly nice for those who wish to use them in meditation. Now, it doesn't say how to clean them, because I know sometimes uh, you need to clean the cards. Let's have a look. I'm going to stop for a minute, otherwise the video will be too long. Well, I can't find whether you can, how you can clean them, but I think if you do it with gentle soap, then the paintings will be alright. So, well, let's have a look at the deck. So... I'll have to do it upside down, because I haven't got another camera. This is the Fool. The Fool. The Fool is a new beginning, transformation, birthing. You've got a flower here. I hope you can see it. And I am going to take the book with me and start doing this. That's the Fool. Let's have a look. The card meanings. Right. Yes, this is the full. Then I will put that there. Then we have the magician. Oh, I like the dragons. I hope you can see. Otherwise, I'll have to change. I think I'll have to change the camera. Yes, that's better. You can see it much clearer now, because I haven't got auto. Fo I haven't got focus on it. Now you can see little squares here. That's you can see that at a later date, um, when you put them on top of each other. And this is the full. That's naught. And then you've got one. That's how you're supposed to put them together. Now you can see that the fool, the butterfly is coming into the circle, into its own. That's how I would interpret it. Magic. Let's carry on. And then we have that card that uh, came in, uh, in the front of the pack. The moon. It looks like the moon. Ah, there you go. Da -da 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 -da. Perhaps it might be clearer on here. No, it doesn't say that. No, it's not clearer. And that's the High Priestess, like the Moon Goddess. Ah, and the, the Torah, the book she always has on her lap, the High Priestess. And that is number two. Then we go to number three. Now, we all know what number three is. That is the Empress. The Empress. And 
like a, a flower growing, these are seedlings and mother nature three it's very simple but um, that's because if you put them on top of each other like this, that's the emperor, number four she represents mother earth and he represents the city you see how they melt into each other they're a couple, they belong, of course, land belongs with the city right this is really exciting for me because this uh, you you don't automatically see the hierophant this is the hierophant number five you will definitely have to know your tarot okay that's the hierophant and he's high because he's the head of an institution well a tree is not really an institution but they the status of the hierophant high and he also wears a matter on a special headdress and that could be the that's why you're only seeing a little bit of green of the tree your imagination does have to work overtime then we have and I think this will also test your your skills on uh, not only whether you know your cards but whether you can get into the cards, whether you can become one with the cards like Gemini, the opposite this is the lovers the heart of the love I ah, think it's beautiful definitely beautiful and then we have the chariot and that's number seven now in some decks strength and justice are different differently numbered okay the horses of the chariot nice one and then we've got justice I think that must be justice yes that's justice number eight now in some decks decks um, strength is number eight or number eleven so we'll see whether um, strength is number eleven okay justice number eight the sword of justice and weighing up the skills okay and then we have number nine now what would that mean to you who always goes away into the mountains to do retreats the hermit the hermit and then we have the wheel of fortune if I'm correct, yes, the wheel. The wheel. And it's got four different colours. For like red for the wands. And then we have I don't know whether the black is um air. Yellow must be let's have a look. well um, swords are dark purple so that would be the black sign here but I don't see it as purple and this would be pentacles and the cups are blue and um, because this is red I can say for sure that that is wands that's what I see in the book but the colors do not coordinate in or resonate in the wheel card you see that's fire cups is blue then it's purple for the swords and that's nearly going to black and Digo color and the green for pentacles so I think that is air and then pentacles okay that's how you also can tell time what is winter spring and autumn and then we have the lion that must be the strength card and that is number 11 yes it is the strength card I did say in some decks it's number 8 yes it is the strength card but in this it looks like a female lion or a panther which is fascinating very simple she's kept it really simere simple and um, let's have a 
Look, we had the Wheel of Fortune, then we have the Strength. And that looks like a nut or a, one of those fruits that fall of a conifer tree. And that is the Hanged Man. Yes! Do you see how simple it is? Hanging from a tree. Okay, that's the, f that's the Hanged Man. Number 12. Sorry about the pinging, guys. The scythe is death. That's usually when the, uh, the the angel or the person that comes to get you carries a scythe. And that's the sign of death. Number 13. Number 13, what do we have here? That is the rainbow. That's temperance, I think. Yes, that's temperance. Number 14. And this must be the devil being tied up, being dominated. And that is number 15. Yes. I'm just going to go through the bigger kana and later I'll do it in sections because it's really going to be too long to load up, I think. That's the tower, the lightning striking the tower. Very good. Then we have the star. I do like that. You, I think you could even use an, a different background like pink or yellow. But you might get caught up with the yellow in the star. So uh, perhaps white is just the right colour. Then we've got the moon with the third eye, spirituality. Beautiful. The third eye your mind's eye. The sun. The sun. Number 19. Amazing. Now, I think this is amazing. We've got the phoenix, number 20, and that is judgment. Rising from the ashes. The people that have passed away, they usually, the rising dead. So that is the phoenix. This is really amazing. Then we have the world, number 21. You can see the rainbow in it. I love it. Well, that's the big arcana, and I think that's beautiful. I think I'm going to make them in different sections so you can really see um, all the cards in their suits. Okay, beautiful. I'm not going to put them together yet. I'll do that in the last or a separate, a separate episode. But you can get the gist of it. You see the world, and then you see the sun, and then you see the chains of the devil and there's cups so yeah I my your imagination will fly off the handle with this deck definitely but you do need time to really look at each picture it is also very exciting because it um, it stimulates your mind but also tests your um, knowledge of the cards and the mythology behind them and I'm going to just leave that there and I will put them in a silk thing. I'll just, just go through back through them again. The world. Judgment. The sun. The moon. The star. Tower, the devil, temperance, death, the hanged man, the strength, the wheel. 
the Hermit. Justice. The Chariot. The Lovers. I love the Lovers. I really do. The Hierophant. The Emperor. The Empress. The High Priestess. The Magician. I love this. That would be nice for a t tattoo as well. And the butterfly, which is the fool. There you go. So, this is the first suit, or the first episode of the series. I'm going to do that, make a little series out of it. They're so beautiful. And I'll start seeing whether I can get the information from the book how to clean them. Because I couldn't find it before. So, I'll let you know. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hi everybody, are you ready for the um, small arcana? I've cheated a little bit because I have been playing around with the one, one suit um, but you have to make sure because they are a little bit circular or that's how they seem to appear on the other side you've got a sort of like a, a, the matte side of the paint and the, the glossy side so you need to get the glossy side for your reading so that's the ace of ones and it's quite fun fascinating when you put them two together and I've only just realized you have to play with this before you can really um, uh, use them and it will get to you because you would just love to play with these cards you've got the ones on the side you've got little uh, checks here and I'll show you why in a minute and you've got the two there and then you've got the three there so all the suits are in on one side so when you uh, layer them then you can see all the suits and the numbers here we go this is a new beginning of a partnership perhaps and here you can see the suit that suits and what suit it is the numbers and the suit. There were two people, new beginning, new partnership. It was quite passionate and fiery. And then you do the three, and then you got five people. Do you see how it adds up? Too many cooks spoiled the broth. That's uh, exactly how it starts working. And then the five, you get the five of ones in three cards. So this is how the story builds up. So let's have a look what happens if I put the four on. Let's see how many see we can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that could be victory. Okay. Do you see how it is? The flame becomes bigger. There you go. Right, here you've got strife or competition, and here it goes into the ones, okay? Then the big flame of the ace of ones shines, and you've got victory. You've got th these two are outstanding, these have fallen away. Anyway, this is how I interpret. So let your in imagination run a riot. Then we have the five of wands. And then we have the six of wands. And this is the seven ones. And now I'm going to layer them and see what happens then. You have to put the squares on the squares. There you are, victory. And then this and he's got victory but he is still fighting or defending himself but he's standing back so it could be somebody standing back and letting you get on with it 
I think they're magic. Again, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, Nine Wands, the Ten of Wands. This is the Nine, the Eight. Okay, the eight is he wants to go away. He's escaping. This could be a relationship or a friendship, and he wants a new beginning, and he's escaping. And sh they're left holding oh, the la the the ninth wand, peace, but still dismayed, worried, using that wand to lean on. Okay. And here we have, like at all the, uh, this one is wrong. You can see that because the tens should be on that side. So we've got it on the wrong side. So there you are. Now the story is complete. This, the ones are complete. Somebody is left. And somebody is using this wand, the ninth wand, as a crutch. And left with the problems. Beautiful. And that's the page of ones. The P for page. Then we have the. Let's have a look. K N K N. Right page. Right, that's that the right way. And these should have been like this. There you go. Okay, so this is how you learn by actually playing. That's the queen, and that's the king. The K for the king, the Q for the queen. So we're going to layer them again. Well, I'm sorry, this is the first time I'm doing it. So, um, they have to lie that way. It wasn't clear. Okay. And now you can see. If you hold them up, I don't know whether you can see. No. You can't. That's ace down to ten. Now we're going to do the queen. Okay. quite magical and that's the king so the king is the tallest the head of the family the mother and remember I'm looking from it upside down so the younger child is with the father and the queen is taking care of the knight the teenager she's looking towards him it's magic how it comes together Okay, let's have a look. This is right. That's, doesn't matter because I can shake them out and about again. But I want to get them right from the start. So they feel good. It feels. They feel. It's like you. You might have to take them down with damp cloth. I wouldn't use too much soap powder or any detergent. It might dis uh, it might uh, disturb the paint, the ink. But uh, just with a damp cloth. Now we're going on to um, the uh, cups. Okay, cups. I'm just going to put them there. And yes, I can understand why they say you must use the cloth because hard surfaces might scratch the plastic. Okay, and would be a pity. So here we go. That's the cup here. And that's the ace cup of cups. The two of cups, 
the three of cups and the cups are blue and the divine light I think it's magical unity so new beginning romance they're holding the cup of love together they're holding it literally and then you've got um, the three of cups celebrations with a lot of people love it then we've got four the four of cups he doesn't see the ones behind him and he's sitting on a big fat cup <laughs> I love the humor in this then we've got the this is the five of cups five cups six of cups and now I'm going to put them together again I like the way he's sitting on one big cup I didn't see that first of all you really have to look but it's nice to discover great fun now just remove that this one okay he's above he didn't see it in the past that's above him now you see that that is above what he didn't see before he's crying over now because that is how the cups and you know that you've got the cards right because the suit is right and then it goes down the numbers now we've got the seven of cups daydreaming lying there then we've got the eight and then we've got the nine so I'm going to put them back again together yep there's loads of cups there the, the dreams are intertwining with the fact the eight of cups moving away he's moving away but all his dreams are coming with him he's following his dreams and that is the nine of cups fulfillment and then we go to the ten of cups celebrations the page of cups and I just want to see what happens there look that could be a child I think nine and ten boom expansion big bro like a happy family I'm just taking the ten away the page, the knight, the queen and the king king, right page must add up, yes knight Queen You could say a child has grown up to a teenager and into a fully fledged woman or king There you go That is lovely, that is. Okay. 
now we're going on to the next suit and that's pentacles right fine I've got them in the right order now so that's the ace and they're green like the earth the leaves of the trees two three see how they match up he's opening up his arms to the new beginning and more money one and two becomes three. Boom. Really amazing. And now we've got four, five, six. I'm going to show you another way of layering them. I have to shake them first. Here you can see he's sitting down, very worried, and then he's holding on to the pentacle, so that's number four, closed off, and here he's getting help. Amazing. I really like, like these cards. It also stimulates, I find, your psychic, psyche. This is the king. No. Right. Seven. Eight. Nine. Partnering them up, layering them. And you can see in the center is the big pentacle. Amazing riches money everywhere love it and then we've got the 10 okay you can see that the pictures are all over the place but that is because when you start layering them they make one picture like the child and the teenager the page and the knight And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the King. Now the other way of layering them is like if you put them like this. The corners to the corners. And you can see that coming together. That's really amazing. I love it. But I'll do show you a reading in how to layer them. I was a bit apprehensive at first. I thought, oh no, I can't do this. But actually, it's easier than it, th it seems. Let your feelings go. Okay? Go with the flow. And it really starts working. That's the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Three of Swords. He's going to stab himself. <laughs> There's no extra attribute. It's also showing you the attitude that the person has. Shut up, shut off. Okay, this person feels like he wants to kill himself. Excuse me for saying that. But that's what it depicts.
Right. The Four of Swords. The Five of Swords. Broken Swords. Little bits. You and this is purple. Okay. Okay. Four, five, six. Moving away. You can see that all this is troubles in your floating away in the boat away from troubles the seven of swords the eight of swords and actually they begin it's very quick that they feel that they're yours that you, you can feel the energy of them I know it sounds crazy feeling energy from a piece of plastic but it is true trouble sneaking away this is the nine of swords sleepless nights I'll show you the nine of swords again somebody with his hands in his hair worried and I like the way they've she's done this the author sleepless nights from the one that's gone and you're still standing there you have to look very good at the picture though, the storytelling and we've got the ten of swords the page of swords there you go could be somebody younger than you or a child that has been really <coughs> teenagers can be <laughs> unpredictable and then we have the knights the knights the queen and the king no. I still think I should do it this way because of the, s the sword that way so now we're going to do the queen she's protecting the knight against the king two against one now there you go you can also let's have a look so arguments in marriage or in a relationship let me have a look yes like I always say the Queen of Swords always fights through thick and thin okay she, no, well the swords stand for justice clear clarity transparency I love it okay now I'm going to shake the cards see how they shuffle because plastic is usually very slippery you'll have to get used to um, the cloth though if you're not used to cloths I would get a bigger cloth I've got big tablecloth velvet and that might be even gentler on the cards there yep they're fine. I can't shuffle uh, like they do uh, in the casino. They they and then they turn them around and they go. Trrrt. I can't do that. But I've seen somebody doing it, and uh, they do shuffle nicely. Okay. I would advise to shovel if you want to keep them without scratches. To shovel them this way and it goes really well and they slide easily over them as what I realized with my other cards they do get tatty on the corners and scratches if you shake them like this because they slide over each other okay now I'm going to do a reading see whether I can do it 
and we're doing a three card spread get the first line of the story and I'm going to do that like this um, we've got a knight here a knight a knight I want to keep that that way and that that way and then we've got number seven here and we have to have the suit right the seven of cups okay I've just noticed something like if I put the knight like that upside down K in then that is upside down okay so that's if they do if you're going to layer them then they're facing each other's back so k n should always be shown okay so observe that okay so when you're going to layer all the um the knights then they will look like that so you can use them both ways but we were we had them like this so we've got the pentacles the knight of pentacles and we've got the seven of cups now the story for a three uh, card reading is that you were dreaming because this is the seven of cups you were dreaming or you you were making having goals or you wished goals wishes dreams that you had are coming to fulfillment because the page of cups is coming in bringing you news he's holding a coin towards you that was in the past so um, something has come in news to make you uh, notice that a dream is coming true this could be a job then we have the page of or the knight of cups uh, that could be a passion a job a specific vocation that you're passionate about now or you could be meeting one of these knights. Now I'm going to shake the cards again and see what we get when we layer them. Now this is the four. The numbers go on one side and the suits on the other. There you go. We've got the swords and that's the four of swords. You had time, you took time out. <laughs> you took time out okay then we have the three of swords the three of swords and let's have a look what does this mean Let's have a look. I need another card. Just playing with these. So that it shows a timeline. Actually, if you... I, I'm looking right on top of it. you still feel lost about something that's how I would interpret it the three of swords means loss sadness but that's behind you now because you've got an offer coming in and here we have the knight and the page and the page here you can see that the knight over um, ways is bigger so you don't see the page but your inner child might be coming out here do you see what I mean your inner child is coming out stepping forward so you're not all that serious your love is coming out your inner child that innocence that playfulness oh I love like these the more I'm mucking around with them the more I like them but you can even 
do it like this overlapping them and that's why I'm glad I've got the book because it does explain You must focus on the question though at hand. I love this, I really do. Great stuff. So I'll be doing next week's readings with these. Great. I hope I'm, I'll be able to make a good reading. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you.